Commission, I will be brief. Firstly, um, similar to Dr. Ferdinand, I am not aware of the exhaustive dialogue from 2021. I would be appreciative if some references of those dialogues in 2021 and 2022 could be provided. That would be fantastic. Additionally, um, Mr. Voltara, you spoke of the fact that the ideas we're presenting here are not novel, but I will go to somewhat of a riddle, somewhat of a uh, phrase, puzzle. If a tree falls in a forest and no one is there to hear it, does it make a sound? Yeah? If it is that, as, and it is, as Julio would have said, that the, the level of opposition to the sitting government is not productive enough or not strong enough to actually offer any sort of resistance to what's being pushed in parliament, then it is very easy for you to say, well, we've had the discussion, we've had dialogue, and we've talked about it, and you've expressed your beliefs already, and we're here now just wasting time. While you can easily have not really, as I dare say you haven't, taken really into consideration the concerns of the Barbadian people. You mentioned our legislation history as well. Um, the majority of those 400 years you are speaking to actually were in the context of colonial oppression as well. So that isn't really something to boast about per se either. As one of the commissioners would have said, no one here is denying the necessity of safeguarding our digital environment. But I would say when that the guardrails become cages, it becomes dangerous. Going back to you, Mr. Voltara, because you spoke for the 20 minutes, I would ask you what image, what use is the image of a safe space where citizens cries fall on deaf ears? And I would give you these two situations, which is better? A baby in a burning building cries and a fireman hears and saves them, or a newborn baby that's crying, undergoing complications, and the nurses and guardians in the hospital walk around happily speaking of the peaceful environment in which they're in, as though that child is not suffering. I would compare our current situation to the latter of those two. Additionally, the logic in your, your argument is not really intellectually honest, I would say, because as much as you say we are saying the same things, as much as you say that what you are saying, what you have proposed in the bill does not bring any excessive restriction on freedom of expression and freedom of conscience. We have given examples of how it does. You have not given a reasoning, a process by which you have decided that it does, by which you have came to the understanding that the limitations you have set are actually in keeping with not just the U.S. human rights um, agreement, but also our constitution in Barbados. So we 